what's good? It's the Hunter Hoffman back with insane content! <laughs> In this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to reset the adaptation values of your DCT gearbox. This is especially useful after having done a DCT gearbox oil change. Check out the video to see how that works. Or after having changed out any other parts of your DCT gearbox. So, you'll need yourself a sick ass DCT gearbox powered BMW an OBD2 cable, a laptop, and ISTA. How did I get ISTA, you ask? Arr! I'm afraid I can't tell you that. Arr! So we're first gonna warm up the gearbox by driving a bit, and then after having connected the car to ISTA, we're going to follow the right steps. So after having turned on the ignition, we're gonna go ahead and complete identification. Set up connection. Okay, then we're gonna go to vehicle management. Then service functions. Then powertrain. Then DKG transmission control. And then we're gonna look for teach in functions. Then we're gonna grab reset torque characteristic. Reset torque character. <laughs> reset torque characteristic. The reset. Then we're going to start out with the reset torque character. <laughs> well, this one, add to test plan. Then we're going to go to learn in a valve characteristic curve and add to test plan. Then we're going to go to clutch adaptation and select teach in clutch slipping point and add to test plan. And then finally, transmission adaptation, gearbox adaptation. Add to test plan. All right, so then we have our service plan and this is our test plan. And these are the four steps that we're gonna go ahead and do. We are gonna start out with the reset torque characteristic curve. So we're gonna hit this. Then we're gonna hit continue. Communication with the transmission control is okay, good. Then continue. Engine off, terminal 15 on. Well, that's currently the case. Terminal 15 on is basically the ignition on. Continue. Then we're gonna hit continue again. Establish following conditions. Start engine, engage N, engine off. So we're gonna start the engine. All right, that was loud. And then we're gonna engage N. Engine off. And then hit next. Terminal 15 on. That's the case. Wait five seconds. Continue. Saving values completed. All right, so that's one. So this one is now green, as you can see. Then we're gonna continue with the teach in valve characteristic curves PV1, PV2. Then we're gonna hit continue, and again. Now we're gonna start the engine. Parking brake up, press and hold brake, selector lever in neutral, engine and transmission at operating temperature, which is the case. All right, so we're gonna raise the engine speed up to two and a half thousand RPM and keep it there for around 90 seconds. Okay. Yes. There we go. Now we're gonna hit continue. Engage in engine off. Hit next. Terminal 15 on. Wait five seconds. And then hit continue. All right, so that's the second one done. Now we're going to do the teach in clutch slipping point. All right, so we're gonna hit continue. And again. Okay, all good. Start engine and or engine running. Select lever in position N, press and hold brake. 
No increased idle speed of the engine. The accelerator pedal may not be operated during the duration of the surface function. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and do that then. Start the engine. Put it in neutral. And hit continue. Hit continue. You can feel the clutch doing stuff down there. Okay. Continue. Brilliant. So as you can see, we have some new adaptation values for the clutches. So we're going to turn the engine off. And hit next. Then we're going to wait five seconds. And hit continue. And that's the teach-in clutch slipping point done. Now on to the last one which is the gearbox adaptation. So we're going to start out by hitting continue. And again, evaluating fault data, current oil temperature 79 degrees, continue. So these are our current transmission adaptation values. And we're going to hit next. Then we're going to start the engine, put it in neutral, and now things are going to get violent. Continue. And again. Damn. All right. That was quick and done. Continue. These are our new values. We're going to save these. We're going to turn the engine off and hit next. We're going to wait five seconds and hit continue. Saving values completed and service function. And that's it. As you can see, this is the whole test plan done, all green. So we're good to go. So the next question is, how does it drive? I did these adaptations after an oil change of the gearbox. And I must say there is a noticeable difference after these adaptations. The gearbox really feels like new and it's really worth the effort. If this helped you out and you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, would really help me out. Guys, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. I was made for this shit, nigga, I prayed for this shit. Roll the hand made, it's from Swiss. Because of my plate, steak of fish. At the round table, it's a big dish. Or after having changed out any other parts of your DCT gearbox. <sighs> okay. Point. <clears throat>